Let's have a look at <coughs> 11.3, example 11.3, cube on a turntable. Really nice problem. Okay, so here we have a cube lying on a table that turns. And as you can see, there's the axis of rotation. Okay, and it says that as uh, the rotational speed is slowly increased, at some point, the cube slides off the turntable. Why does this happen? So this thing is moving at a constant speed. Constant speed, okay. And then at some point, and, but the speed is slowly being increased. And at some point, this block slides off, the, off this table. Okay? And the question is, why does this happen? So what we need to do is, we need to first, again, analyze what are the forces that are acting on this uh, block or this cube. And also, we need to know that whenever you're having centri circular motion, you've got a centripetal acceleration and a centripetal force. That, that is the, r the, 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 s the vector sum of all the forces acting on this block are going to be pointing towards that center. Okay, so let's look at the sum of the forces, but let's set up the axes first. Notice that your radial axis is pointed to the left. So it's from the axis of rotation to <coughs> the object that is revolving. So that's why it's to the left. And now uh, your tangential axis will be um, pointing in the direction that this, this object's moving, but we're not considering that in this case. We're considering this Z axis, as you can see. All right, so what are the forces acting on it? Well, you've got gravity acting down, you've got the, and then you've got a contact force. This contact force has two components, the normal force and friction. Okay? It has friction. So, our conclusion here <coughs> is that the, the force that is causing the acceleration towards the center is the friction force. Okay, and it is static, static friction. Okay, <coughs> so what does that mean? What have we learned from the previous chapter? Well, we learn that um, static friction has a maximum value. <coughs> and if you exceed that value, you will begin to slide, you will have kinetic friction. So what's happening is, as you're increasing the speed, Remember what we learned in the pre in this section. As you increase the speed, you are increasing the force required to accelerate it towards the center. Okay? And so if you keep increasing the speed, you keep increasing the static force, the static friction force, up until a point where... Um, Static friction no longer holds and it needs to now slide. It needs to move into kinetic friction. Okay?